So today we are going to be talking about Red Dead Redemption 2. Um, spoiler warning for the entire game. Um, if you haven't played it, go play it and then come back. So I'll give you a little while. Alrighty. Um, but the game, or, or what we're going to be talking about, are these four things. We're going to talk about uh, characters, story, Gameplay, graphics. The four things that we're going to talk about. First, we're going to talk about characters. Arthur Morgan may be the most, um, maybe the best rock star protagonist in the, in all, all time, of all time. Just the best. Um, Sadie Adler, uh, Definitely a great character, a great companion for Arthur Morgan, um, and overall great character. Her backstory is sad, and if you play Red Dead Online, you can see a little bit more into her backstory. Dutch is a great character. He he's a villain. He's a he's a hero. He's a little bit of both. So at the beginning of the game, he's the leader of the gang. And he's definitely, like, one of the better characters at the beginning. But then, during chapter 4, he suffers a head injury that basically turns him insane. And then he starts betraying people and starts doing some bad stuff and all that. But overall, his arc is great. He's a great character. Um, also, th this game has a surprisingly really good cast. Not like a well-known, but they all work really, really well together. Um... Yeah, so there, there's that. Um, now we're going to talk about the story. I'm not going to go into high detail, talk about every single moment. I'm just going to talk about how or what I thought of the story because I want you guys to experience this game for yourself. And I don't want to spoil it. Spoil too much for you. I will talk about the ending... But most of the, like, in the middle and very beginning parts, I won't talk about. Basically, uh, just to sum it all up, Dutch and your protagonist are in a gang. Uh, Dutch is the leader, and you go around doing gang stuff. So, yeah, that's basically the entire story. Um, but the ending, or near the end, um, your protagonist, big spoiler, um, gets tuberculosis, which means he has not very long to live, so they have to survive, and all the while... Arthur is got tuberculosis. Dutch is um going insane. So he starts betraying everybody. Uh they pull off train robbery. Um and John, the protagonist from the first game, his wife is kidnapped. And Arthur and Sadie go and check it out. They they save her. And Arthur rides back to the camp and tells Dutch about Micah, which is the antagonist of the game, that uh, Micah's a rat. He's been ratting out the game to the Pinkertons. Um, and then they get in a standoff, and then the Pinkertons come. And they start shooting up the place. And everybody's trying to escape. And then Micah and Arthur get on top of a mountain or they're in camp. 
and they fight. They like fist fight or knife fight. Um, depending on which choice you make. Um, to make a long story short, Micah, like, hits Arthur really hard. He falls to the ground. Arthur crawls, puts his hand on Micah's gun that kind of flew over to the side, and is about to shoot Micah, but then Dutch stands on his ha hand, stopping him from picking up the gun and shooting Micah. And that's more or less where the game ends. Uh, I'm not going to talk about the epilogue. Um, although, I will talk about the ending to the epilogue. Um, basically, John shoots Micah, or Dutch betrays Micah. John then gets to finish him off because he gets to play as John. Because then Arthur Morgan dies. Um, and that's more or less where the story ends. You can continue playing after that, but there really isn't much to do other than go find all the collectibles, go see some of the random events, go get in a shootout. I mean, there is there is a lot you can do, but after you've gone through the entire story, you're just tired of the game, so you most likely stop. And that's why I like replaying the game over and over and over again, not just because I enjoyed the game but the story is just so good and it it really just deserves a lot of credit and so does Rockstar I mean Rockstar created such a good universe such a good story everything was just really really good and the next thing that we're going to talk about is gameplay gameplay at the beginning of the game, really fun. Um, animations are fluent. Uh, combat's fun. And... There isn't really all much I can say... Or that much I can say... Other than that. Um, I do... Later on, once you start playing the game a lot... The gunfights do start getting repetitive. Um... So I really think that Rockstar could have done something with um, maybe the fist fights and the knife and dynamite and fire bottles, throwing knives. I mean, there's so much that they could have done. Lassos. I mean, they did. They put all these things in, but then they kind of just left it in the dust and just started using or just started like only doing the guns so they left everything else behind but that stuff might have actually been the most fun so I don't know I mean it's not like we're gonna get Rockstar to change anything it's not like they're gonna update the single player um but yeah uh so that's that's pretty much all I can say for gameplay. Um, finally, graphics. Um, just look out your window. You've you've got Red Dead. That there isn't much I can say. But, but honestly, it the graphics look so real that. I really just, like, want to jump into the TV and just be in that world and have, and, and be able to see what Arthur is seeing or John is seeing. It's that good that I would want to, oh, that's the other thing, um, actually, I'll, I'll get to that in the extra thing that I want to do, because I want to do an extra thing about Red Dead Online and all that, um, at the end of this video, um, but the graphics are really, really good, um, and when I first saw the game, I was like, are we sure that this isn't real life, because, I mean, I thought I was looking in a mirror, just like looking out, I'd look at the TV, 
then look out my window and I'd be like they're the exact same but honestly there's not much more I can say I, I feel like I've already summed it up and finally we're gonna talk about some extra stuff Red Dead Online is a blast I mean playing with friends on Red Dead Online is one of the more fun things I've done because I play a lot with my friends online and they all own Red Dead Online so it's it's really really fun to see my friends in a game that I love to express my feelings about. Uh, I really like the characters in Red Dead Online. Crips is just the greatest. I really like Horley. I like um, Maggie from the um, Moonshiner thing. I really enjoy Red Dead Online. And I wish that people would stop being so mean I don't really know toxic toxic I mean that's the word that I'm gonna use um I really just wish that people would stop being toxic and would start thinking that just shooting your gun at people isn't nice that sounds really weird but in Red Dead Online it happens a lot when you come across players, they're most or random players. They're most likely gonna kill you, and I don't want that to happen in Red Dead Online because it's driving people away from Red Dead Online instead of bringing people in. And I wish more pl people played Red Dead Online. And I know that Rockstar has been trying. But they have not succeeded. They they have not even come close. Actually, I don't even know if they're trying at this point. Like, I, I hope they are. I hope they add a system that can, like, not ban, but, like, maybe give a warning out. Or maybe the, they take away some of your in-game money, something like that. Definitely not gold bars, though, because that's what you play with real-life money. So that's literally just taking real-life money out of your wallet. It's like walking up to you, just being like, hey, can I have your wallet for a second? And you're like, no. Too bad. Um, but, I, because I don't want that to happen. I, I don't want griefers as they're called in Red Dead Online so please if you are one of those people and you're watching this don't do it, it I, I know it can be fun but you're driving people away from a game that is actually really good you're, you're stopping people from having a good experience and there is one more thing that I want to talk about if they could add this game to VR, I mean, having a Red Dead VR would be the coolest thing. I mean, just imagine, you could go through the story um, as Arthur in his eyes. I mean, it would be the coolest thing. Playing Red Dead Online with your friends would be even cooler. I mean... There are so many possibilities that could come out of this. And that's all I want to talk about today. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'll see you next time. Bye.